If your gas stove flame is orange when cooking roti, it indicates incomplete combustion of gas, which can be dangerous and inefficient. You should adjust the gas flow to achieve a blue flame, ensuring proper and safe cooking. Here's a breakdown of the issue and how to address it. Why an orange flame is problematic. Incomplete combustion. An orange flame means the gas isn't burning fully, releasing unburnt fuel and potentially harmful gases like carbon monoxide. Inefficient cooking. An orange flame doesn't heat as efficiently, leading to uneven cooking and longer cooking times. Safety hazard. Carbon monoxide is odorless and colorless, making it a silent killer. Even a small amount of carbon monoxide can be dangerous. How to achieve a blue flame. Adjust the gas flow. Reduce the gas flow. If the flame is too large and orange, slightly reduce the gas flow by turning the knob counterclockwise. Increase the gas flow. If the flame is too small and orange, slightly increase the gas flow by turning the knob clockwise. Fine tune. Continue adjusting until you achieve a steady blue flame with a slight yellow tip. Check for obstructions. Ensure the burner cap and vents are clean and free from debris, as this can restrict airflow and cause incomplete combustion. Clean the burner. If the burner is dirty, clean it thoroughly with a soft brush or cloth to ensure proper gas flow. Check for a leaking gas hose. If the flame is unstable or keeps going out, it could be a sign of a leaking gas hose. Replace the hose if necessary. Consult a professional. If you are unable to achieve a blue flame or suspect a more serious problem, दोस्तों क्या आप भी रोटी डायरेक्ट बिल्कुल गलत तरीका है और खतरनाक है? हम भी पहले ऐसे ही सेका करते थे। आइए बताते हैं आपको सही तरीका क्या है? सही तरीका ये कर सेक लें। क्योंकि जनरल इन्वायरमेंटल साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी और WHO ने एक रिसर्च से साबित किया है कि डायरेक्ट फ्ले� लिए खतरा पैदा करती है और इतना ही नहीं इससे कैंसर होने के चांसेस भी बढ़ जाते हैं तो आज से ही पुराने तरीकों को अपनाइए जैसे हमारी नानी दादी तवे के ऊपर रोटी को सेका करती थी वैसे ही सेकिए रोटी को गैस की फ्लेम के कांटेक्ट में नेचुरल गैस स्टोव्स एंड कुकटॉप्स इमिट सच लेवल्स ऑफ एयर पोल्यूटेंस लाइक कार्बन मोनोक्साइड नाइट्रोजन डाइऑक्साइड एंड फाइन पार्टिकुलेट मैटर दैट्स कंसीडर्ड अनसेफ बाय द हु एंड आर लिंक्ड टू रेस्पिरेटरी इलनेस cardiovascular problems, and cancer along with other health conditions. There was another study published in the journal Nutrition and Cancer, which highlighted the fact that high-temperature cooking can produce carcinogens. Thus, we got thinking about whether it is okay to cook chapatis on direct contact with gas flame or not. So, does it apply to chapatis being cooked on direct gas flame too? The doctor's take. We talked to a popular Delhi-based medical oncologist, Dr. Sham Agarwal, who is a senior consultant at Sir Ganga Ram Hospital about the correlation between high temperature cooking and cancer, and he said, we cannot link direct flame cooking with cancer. The carcinogens like heterocyclic amines, HCAs, and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons, oh, are responsible for all the DNA of the human body. It is not easy to say if the DNA damage is resulting in cancer as the human body has a natural mechanism to repair itself and emit such cells. Cancer genesis results from gene alterations in the cells. So, the chemicals that generate through high temperature cooking, they have the potential to damage the DNA. Also, if we correlate high temperature cooking with cancer, then the person should have been consuming such foods for a long duration. Cancer doesn't happen on few intakes of carcinogens. If a person consumes such foods, high temperature, regularly, only then the carcinogens enter your body. So, I would say that there is no epidemiological evidence that reflects upon this correlation between high temperature cooking and cancer. In principle, if there is anything that's causing DNA alteration, one should avoid that thing. Earlier people used to cook- Thanks and watching.